Neural networks, a type of computer algorithm that are designed to mimic the way the human brain processes information. They are commonly used for tasks such as image and speech recognition, object detection, playing games like chess, and more. Neural networks can help traditional computers make intelligent decisions with limited human assistance. For example, humans are extremely good at detecting or classifying images. A human would have no problem distinguishing what is subscribed and not subscribed on YouTube. On the other hand, a traditional computer isn't as good at distinguishing images. When a computer sees an image, it actually sees a collection of pixels where each pixel stores a numeric value representing the color intensity. And therefore, a computer sees an image as a large array of numerical values. So if the image was slightly different, let's say in terms of angle, width, height, or a different color, the pixels would be entirely different for each case, resulting in a different array of numeric values for each case. Now if it's so difficult, how can we ever classify an image using a computer? Well, we simply train our computer-generated neural network by exposing it to an enormous amount of images, where each image is an input or example, and the more examples we provide, the bigger the chance that our neural network recognizes the subject, which is the tiger image in our case. Now what does a neural network look like? Well, in simple terms, there is an input layer, and the input then goes through a bunch of calculations and analysis, which ultimately produces an output or prediction in the output layer. The middle layer responsible for all the calculations and analysis is called the hidden layer. In our example of the tiger image, the input will have something called a label or a target that tells our neural network to which category it belongs. The hidden layer performs a series of statistical calculations that investigate each of our examples from many different angles, and our output layer is responsible for evaluating different aspects of our examples. For example, one hidden layer is responsible for edge detection, another hidden layer maps the colors, and another one counts the legs or maybe even detects the claws. Note that each layer typically consists of multiple neurons. The outputs of neurons in one layer are usually connected to the inputs of neurons in the next layer, forming a directed graph-like structure. Now individually, these layers are quite useless. Just because something has claws doesn't really make it a tiger. But when we combine all these layers together, we actually have enough information to make a prediction. So when the input is supplied and the training of our neural network begins, there is always a chance that the output may not give the correct prediction based on the input label. And the main reason for that is those links that connect between the nodes or neurons of our layers. These links are called weights, and they help us determine how much impact each node has on the input. For example, maybe counting paws or detecting skin pattern is much more meaningful than mapping ears. In that case, the weights that lead to the ear layer will have lower values than the other two weights. So just because our first prediction is incorrect, it doesn't mean that our neural network is bad. It only means that we need to keep adjusting the weights until most of our examples are correctly classified or predicted. This adjusting of weights is done through a process called backpropagation, which involves comparing the predicted outputs with the actual outputs and updating the parameters of the network to minimize the error. This process of optimization can take a very long time. In short, that's how a neural network works. Now once we are done optimizing, we can save the neural network and load it whenever we want to. Then we can expose it to tiger images it has never seen before and in most cases, they will be correctly classified. Now because our neural network has already learned about thousands of tiger images from different image variations, when it comes to tigers, our neural network is an expert. But when it comes to any other animal, it is completely clueless. And that's what we call narrow AI. It can only do one particular task and it has a very narrow area of expertise. It is up to the developers to keep training it further and making it smarter. So that's all about neural networks in a simplified manner. If you found the video insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.